Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, Lord, thy grace, grace into, into our hearts, that we, to whom, whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, angel may by his passion, passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. We offer this Holy Rosary for the continued recovery of our country and our world from the crisis brought by the COVID-19 pandemic, for those who lost their jobs and those who struggle in their livelihood, for good governance in our country and in the world, for peace in the world where war and violence exist, for the sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, that God may give them strength and full recovery, and for the eternal repose of our dearly departed, especially those who die from COVID-19, and may God console their grieving families. I believe, believe in one God, God the, the Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven and earth, of, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not me, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Joyful Mysteries. 
the first mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our, our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech you, that, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may meditate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Saint Ezequiel Moreno was in Alfaro, La Rioja, Spain on April 9, 1848. He professed his vows in the Order of Augustinian Recollects in Monte Agudo, Navarra in 1865. He was ordained priest in Manila in 1871 and worked for 15 years as a missionary in the Philippines. He left for Colombia in 1888 where he restored the Augustinian Recollect Order and reactivated the old mission, named Apostolic Vicar of Casanare, 1893, and Bishop of Pasto, 1896. He was a model of a pastor for his fidelity to the church and for his apostolic zeal. He fell ill, and in 1906, he returned to Spain, where he died of cancer on August 19 of the same year, in the convent of Monte Agudo. Innumerable cures, especially of cancer, are attributed to his intercession. Beatified on November 1, 1975, he was canonized on October 11, 1992, in Santo Domingo, on the occasion of the fifth centenary of the Christianization of America. In his sincere desire to serve, he drew an unfailing strength when the interests of Christ and the Church were involved. As a shepherd completely devoted to his faithful, he bore with firmness all kinds of trials, including the painful cancer that accompanied him during the last months of his life, that brought him to retire at the convent of Monte Agudo where he died on August 19, 1906. He was canonized by Pope John Paul II in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic on October 11, 1992. During the closing of the fifth centenary of the evangelization of Latin America, may his example and intercession help us to live faithfully the gospel of Jesus Christ. With joyful hearts, let our 
let our voices be one in offering God our praises and thanksgiving. We offer this Holy Mass for the thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors, for the eternal repose of the souls of our daily departed, for the healing of our online parishioners and their caregivers, for those who are unable to go to church physically for various reasons, and for all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Ezekiel Moreno, OAR. Our Mass presiders, Reverend Father Jason McWherta, Please all stand. feast of St. Ezekiel Moreno, the patron saint of cancer patients, this Mass is specifically offered for all our brothers and sisters who are afflicted with cancer in any form and all kinds of sickness. We pray for healing, recovery for all, for all our loved ones who are ill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves to be healed by humbly coming to the Lord, acknowledging our sins, our shortcomings, our impatience and weaknesses. We ask the Lord to grant us healing in our heart, in our mind. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
is called collect collect because we gather our prayers into one so in the moment of silence we present to the lord through the intercession of son ezekiel our prayers and intentions for this mass let us pray O oh God, who in the Bishop St. Ezekiel gave us an example of fidelity to the gospel and a pastor after the heart of your son, grant us through his prayers to live as joyful witnesses to Christ and always to be faithful to our consecration to the service of your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. A Lord God, I said, I know not how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered me, Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness towards us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast for an obligation has been imposed on me. And woe to me if I do not preach it. 
If I do so willingly, I have a recompense. But if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. To the weak I became weak, to win over the weak. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. all nations says the Lord I am with you always until the end of the world The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid, brothers and sisters. Pakibati nga ng good morning din ng ating mga katabi. Beautiful morning. Happy Feast Day of St. Ezekiel Moreno. Pakibati ang katabi natin ng Happy Feast Day. Happy Fiesta po. And to our online parishioners, you may not be with us today in this Mass, but you are very much with us in prayer. Pasensya na po kayo kung wala tayong maupuan. Maliit lang po yung ating simbahan, kaya tsaga-tsaga na lang po muna tayo, lalo po yung mga nasa likod. Uh, sasamahan ko po kayo, hindi na rin po ako uupo para sama-sama tayong tumayo. Uh, I was very much tempted to make this a very long homily, kaya lang alam ko hindi pa kayo nag-breakfast. Nag-breakfast na po ba kayo? Oh, ako din hindi pa, so uh, huwag kayong mag-alala. Para pareho tayong gutom na ito. So, iiksiang ko na lang po yung homily. Dapat po ay isang oras, kaya 30 minutes na lang. No? August 1906, nung siya ay namatay, si San Isikiel. 
August 19, 1906. August 19 today. But a year before that, August 1905, St. Ezekiel felt some symptoms in his mouth. There was a lump in his palate. And there was bleeding. So he had himself checked. At ang diagnosis ng mga doctor, cancer. So in August 1905, Isigel Moreno was diagnosed with cancer of the palate. He was then a bishop of Pasto in Colombia. He did not want to go to the doctor to be operated on. Gusto ni Bishop Ezekiel, doon na lang siya sa kanyang mga pinaglilingkuran. But he was prevailed upon, Bishop, you have to, to have yourself check. So kailangan niyang bumalik ng Spain para siya ay magpa-treatment. February 1906, he was advised to go to a hospital and have an, a surgery in Madrid. February 14, Valentine's Day, 1906, he had his first surgical operation in a hospital in Madrid. Yun yung kanyang first treatment. Wala pa namang chemotherapy. So sinikap ng mga doktor na tanggalin sa kanyang bibig yung lump. First surgical operation, February 14, 1906. March 29, 1906. Bumalik ko ulit yung kanyang bukol, kaya second surgery, second operation on St. Ezekiel Moreno, March 29, 1906. All procedures failed. Hindi natigil yung kanyang cancer. By May 31, 1906, he asked his confreres, iuwi inyo na lang ako. From the hospital, he said, take me to Monteagudo, to my hometown, and I would like to be with my mother. So he decided to spend his remaining days beside his heavenly mother. Sabi ni Isikiel, I want to die beside my mother, Virgen del Camino, Our Lady of the Way in Monteagudo. Sabi ni Saint Isikiel, I want to die beside my mother. So he was brought to his hometown by August 19, around this time, 1906, with complete resignation in tranquility of soul, St. Ezekiel Moreno, or Bishop Ezekiel Moreno, died and breathed his last. Diagnosis, August 1905. Death, August 1906. Isang taon, dalawang operation, both unsuccessful. Kung titingnan natin sa, sabi natin, oh, yun naman pala eh. <laughs> Ba't natin pinupuntahan si San Ezekiel? Hindi nga niya tinalo yung kanyang cancer. Namatay nga siya eh. Nagkaroon nga siya ng operation, di naman siya gumaling. So why would we go to him and ask for his intercession? We go to St. Ezekiel because of these two reasons. In 1947, for the cause of his beatification, Carmela Jurado, which was from Pasto, was healed of palate cancer. The name of the lady was Carmela Jurado. In 1947, through the intercession of Saint Ezekiel, she was given the healing that she asked for. In 1986, a lady named Maria Jesus Nunez Diaz of Huesaco, Colombia. Maria Diaz 
was healed instantly from, his, from her breast cancer. And that was the reason for the canonization of Saint Ezekiel in 1992. Before a saint is declared a saint, there must be first a miracle. And the miracle that caused the canonization of Saint Ezekiel was the miracle that happened to Maria Jesus Nunez Diaz, breast cancer patient healed instantly. Ezekiel died of cancer, but everyone who came to him, people who came to him for seeking his intercession, got and got healed from their illness. We're not saying that Ezekiel is the, is the God who heals, but through the intercession of Ezekiel, many of the people who are afflicted with illness, especially cancer, have experienced healing. A few days ago, Father Jerry Orbos was here with us, and he testified to all of us, for those of you who were here and online. Sabi ni, fa ni Father Jerry, hindi naman daw niya kilala si Ezekiel Moreno, but may nagbigay lang sa kanya ng image ni San Ezekiel. And, you know, just like any ordinary saint that he has in his room, he also prays and asks the intercession. But one time, nakita niya si Saint Ezekiel, the image na nagpapawis. At hindi lang nagpapawis, lumuluha pa. And he was asking himself, Ezekiel, what are you trying to tell me? And instantly he experienced the healing from his cancer, from his battle with cancer. I'm not saying these things to give you false hope or to tell you na gagaling ka o gagaling tayo. Ezekiel himself can tell us, ako nga eh, san taon nang dinaanan ko, but I did not defeat cancer. But we can defeat cancer or any kind of illness, sabi nga ni Father Jerry, by having the attitude of a BTS in your life. Naalala niyo po yung BTS ni Father Jerry? Ano pa yung BTS ni Father Jerry? Believe, trust, surrender. Dagdagan ko po yung BTS ni Father Jerry. Sinimulan niya na rin lang. Dadagdagan ko po ng mas local. I would propose also to you as our guide for prayer to remember not just BTS but also SB19. Sa mga Medjugorian, sabi ni Father Jerry, di niyo makilala ang SB19. Tapos nga ang kamay na nakakakilala sa SB19, tatlo lang sila. <laughs> o bahala na kayo mag-Google kung sino ang... I thought of SB19 to supplement and complement the BTS of Father Jerry because Ezekiel Moreno is a saint and bishop. And his feast day is August 19. Kaya SB19 refers to Ezekiel Moreno, Saint and Bishop 19. Pwede na ba, Father Jerry? Wait, there's more. SB19 also refers to how to transform your suffering into blessing. How to move from sickness to blessedness. How to move and liberate yourself from servitude to beatitude. SB is a movement from suffering to blessing. Maraming beses ang tingin natin sa ating mga karamdaman, it's a punishment. It's suffering. But true to tell, to be honest with ourselves, sickness is a blessing. Once you befriend sickness, 
Pag nakaibigan mo na ang cancer, pag nakaibigan mo na ang iyong karamdaman, hindi na siya mabigat. Because you have turned your sickness and suffering into an experience of being blessed. So today, yes, let's pray for healing. But also, let us pray that we may begin to befriend the affliction. We may begin to accept that this is given to me, not as a punishment for my sins. That I have this, not because of what I have done or what I have failed to do. This is given to me with some reason behind it. I'd like us to see the blessing behind the sickness. Yung po yung SB19. Today, August 19, let us turn our suffering and sickness and servitude to blessing and beatitude. How do you do that? You go back to BTS. We believe, we trust, and surrender. And let us entrust our lives, ourselves, to the Lord. Let us believe, trust, and surrender. Let us transform our suffering into blessing. And wait, there's more. <laughs> SB also refers to sharing your blessing and sharing your burden with each other. When we share each other's burden, gumagaan po. Yung pong dahilan kung bakit tayo nandito. Let us share each other's burden to the Lord and to one another. And let us also learn to share the blessings that we are and that we have. Sabi po ni St. Ezekiel towards his life, nung na-diagnose na po siya, sabi niya sa mga doktor niya, my ailment, though serious, won't finish me right away. Cancer, that's what I have, does not kill me in four days. Ito po yung exact words ni St. Ezekiel. My ailment, though serious, won't finish me right away. Cancer, that's what I have, does not and cannot kill me just yet. Mga cancer patients, listen to these words. They are the words of a saint and bishop. It cannot kill you just yet. As long as there is BTS in your heart, as long as you are capable of, uh, of transforming your, your sickness into blessing, it cannot just kill you. We can overcome it. So the saint is giving us a model of how to deal with cancer. And final words of Ezekiel, if I am going to die, I want to die beside my mother. And if we are to die, let us all die beside our mother, beside our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who promises us not just life in this world, but life eternal. Do not be afraid of cancer. Do not be afraid of affliction or illness. It cannot kill you. Nothing can kill the soul that has faith in the Lord. Maybe our bodies will suffer the generation, but our souls, they remain alive, they remain in God's heart, and they remain strong in the midst of the weaknesses of the body. So in this Mass, let us pray. Saint Ezekiel Moreno, help me accept my pain and suffering. Help me transform my sickness into blessing and help me to believe, trust, and surrender. And if that is so, my ailment, cancer it may be, it cannot kill me. It will never conquer me because of the faith that I have in me. Please all stand. In celebrating the feast of St. Ezekiel Moreno, who made his life as a generous offering to, gospel, to the gospel, let us invoke 
the blessing of God for the church and for all humanity as we pray. We pray to you, hear us. We pray to you, hear us. That a holy church of God be enriched by the life of her saints, and that she may promote and lead with zeal the mission of announcing the gospel to the nations. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. That all pastors of the church, united to the successors of Peter, may lead a life in imitation of Saint Ezekiel, a model shepherd, let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. That relationships among nations may be based on mutual respect and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. That the poor, the sick, and those who suffer may, through the intercession of Saint Ezekiel, find in Christ the consolation and relief of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. That more faithful will be called to become missionaries who will proclaim unfailingly the gospel of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. That we who have answered the call to be witnesses of faith in Christ Jesus, the God incarnate, while living our own vocation, we may become the church that loves and contemplates and proclaims him. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. Shepherd of faithful, all-powerful God, full of goodness, you chose the Bishop St. Isigel Moreno in order to nourish the people with your word, to illumine them with example of his life. Listen to our supplications through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we recall the memory of St. Ezekiel, we ask you, O Lord, to bestow your blessing on the gifts we offer you. May our communion in this sacrifice free us from our sins and fill us with heavenly nourishment 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, you filled the Bishop St. Ezekiel with the spirit of your Son and made him an ardent defender of your glory. He gave himself to his brethren in common life. He showed himself a shepherd of your flock by word and example. He sought no other glory than to serve the church. He recognized and loved your Son in the poor, the sick, the weak, and the oppressed. His desire was always to do your will. Therefore, Lord, in union with the angels and saints, we join in singing the hymn of your glory. Before the Lord, I invite you, my dear friends, to seek healing from the Lord. It is Jesus who heals. The saints, San Ezekiel, Santa Maria Goretti, San Padre Pio, they are the friends of the paralytic. They help us to get nearer to Jesus. But it is the Lord who heals us. We come to him with humble hearts, seeking for healing and strength. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. For us, we celebrate the memorial of his death and 
resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, who is our bishop, and all the clergy. And in a moment of silence now, we present to the Lord our personal needs and petitions. We pray for our loved ones who are in need of healing and strength, enlightenment and recovery, as we also pray for the intentions of our Mass today. For those who are with us online, we include you in our prayers. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray. Look at the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and the saints, Santa Maria Goretti, Saint Padre Pio, Saint Ezekiel Moreno, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. are all children of the loving Father. He is a merciful, compassionate Father to us all. He provides for us our daily bread. He heals us from any kind of affliction. We turn to him and pray together. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear friends, when we share each other's burdens, the burdens will be light. And especially if we surrender our burdens to the Lord, things will become lighter. So we turn to each other, share the blessing, share each other's burden, and offer the gift of love and peace to one another. Peace be with you. Peace to you all. Brothers and sisters, before us is the real presence of Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, the divine healer who gives us strength and hope. In a moment of silence, let us adore, honor, and worship our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, our Savior. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. As we receive the Lord in Holy Communion, let us whisper to the Lord our prayer of healing. Lord, heal us. Jesus, heal us. Lord, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
to reach out and open your heart.
As we wait for our communion ministers to come back to finish Holy Communion, may I invite everyone to spend a moment of silence, a minute of silence together in prayer. As we have received the Lord in Holy Communion, it is the Lord who heals us. Ezekiel, Maria Goretti, Padre Pio, they are the friends of the paralytic that help us bring us nearer to Christ. So we, I, I invite you at this moment, for any one of you who is asking the Lord for healing, we present to Him our personal needs and struggles, our burdens and pains at this time of our life, especially for those who are suffering from cancer. And since we cannot ask everybody to come forward for the blessing of cancer patients because we don't have the space, uh, can you just be seated and remain in your place? And I'd like to pray over you. Uh, we'll do it by way of intercession for one another. Hindi lang naman po ako pwedeng maglasal sa inyo. Hindi lang naman po si Isikel o San Padre Pio ang pwedeng maglasal sa inyo. May I ask you to turn to the person beside you if you have if you have affliction or illness or sickness. Can you just tell the person beside you, I am sick with this. Please pray for me. And then the person who has been asked, can you just lay your hands and pray with me as I pray over you. So, pwede pang we can turn to each other now. And for those who are in need of healing, can you please ask the person beside you, please pray, pray for me, I am in need of healing. Oh, namarites nyo na po, yung mga may sakit sa paligid nyo. Oh, ako din, I'm asking for healing for myself also. Uh, as you very well know, lagi ko po nakakwento po ito, no? Ang, ang, ang sickness ko ay really more on emotional and uh, psychological and even spiritual. No? At lagi kong nakakwento din po yung, yung uh, pareho pong namatay kasi ang parents ko sa cancer. No? Ang nanay ko namatay sa, yeah, uh, na-diagnose ng May, namatay ng June. Tatay ko naman, na-diagnose ng July, namatay ng August. No? So, ganun kabibilis po yung aking mga magulang and both of them died of cancer. So, I know very well how it feels to, to lose loved ones to cancer. So, can we just play, pray for each other? As I've said, uh, hindi kayo makakapunta dito sa harap kasi nga po, maliit lang po yung simbahan natin. But, turn to the person who is in need of healing uh, and in silence, just lay your hands on him or her and I'll do the prayer on your behalf. So turn to the person beside you and tell him or her, please pray for me. I am sick with... And the person who has been asked, can you lay your hands on him or her? Through the intercession of San Isikel Moreno, San Padre Pio, Santa Maria Goretti, we ask you, dear Lord, to grant healing and complete recovery to our brothers and sisters who are afflicted with any kind of sickness, those who are with us online, those who are praying for the loved ones, those who are suffering and are in pain, burdened with so much sorrow, sadness, and loneliness in their hearts. I ask you now, dear Lord, as through the intercession of St. Ezekiel Moreno, a woman by the name of Maria Nunes was instant, instantaneously healed from breast cancer through the intercession of St. Ezekiel. I ask you now, dear Lord, 
through the intercession of San Ezekiel, your dear servant, bishop, and priest. Heal them. Heal our brothers and sisters who are afflicted with cancer or any kind of sickness. Lay your healing hand upon them. Turn to their needs, O Lord. Understand and embrace their pains, their loneliness, their, their fears. I ask you to take away their fears and anxieties in their hearts. That in the midst of the trials that they are going through, the surgeries, operations, therapies that they have been going through, I ask you, dear Lord, to give them more hope, more strength, more peace in their hearts that at the end of it all we can only surrender to your will i ask you at this very moment oh god to heal our friends who have come all the way from different places who have come so early in order to be prayed for through the intercession of your saint Ezekiel moreno lahat po panginoon na nagising ng maaga hindi pa nakakain na ngayon ay nandito sa iyong harapan. Sila po, Panginoon, ay bigyan niyo ng kagalingan. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang dakilang nagpapagaling. Hindi po kami. Hindi ang mga banal. Ikaw, O Diyos, ang nabibigay ng lunas ng kagalingan sa bawat isa sa amin. Sa aming panalangin, Panginoon, sa aming paglapit sa iyo, kasihan po ninyo ng mahal na grasya ng kagalingan ang mga kapatid namin. Pagaanin ang kanilang mga nararamdamang hirap. As you have promised to us, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy burden, and I'll give you rest. I ask you, dear Lord, grant healing and rest to our brothers and sisters who are already in deep, in, in deep suffering, in so much pain. Take away their pain, O God. Alisin niya sa kanilang katawan ng mga sakit at pasakit. Pagkaanin niyo yung kanilang paghinga. Makabangon sila at makalakad ulit ng maayos. Makakita, makarinig. Pagkalooban niyo sila, Panginoon, ng kagalingan na hinihingi namin, hindi lang ng katawan, ganun din ng aming pag-iisip, ng aming kalooban na binabalot ng mga takot na mga pangamba. Heal them, O God. Heal our brothers and sisters who are psychologically, emotionally, mentally ill. Those who are struggling in their faith, spiritually struggling. I ask you, Lord, to grant them your healing hands, your merciful heart. Bestow upon them the gift of healing today. We claim it, O God, that today we are healed through the intercession of San Ezekiel Moreno, of San Padre Pio, of Santa Maria Greti. I ask you to heal our brothers and sisters. Strengthen them. Give them the strength once more that they, may, that they learn to see and recognize that your love embraces them, that your mercy abounds, and always you care for them. I ask you, dear Lord, as we pray in silence, send your spirit of love your consoling and healing spirit that all of us who are here may experience comfort, consolation, light, healing. San Isigel Moreno, pray for pray us. For San Padre Pio, pray, pray for, for us. us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. We now stand. May the reception of your holy mysteries renew your life in us, O Lord, so that we who rejoice in remembering Saint Ezekiel may profit from his example of apostolic zeal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Maupo ulit po. Bago tayo matapos po ay... Nagpapasalamat po kami ng uh, gusto sa inyong lahat, sa inyong pagdalo sa ating pagdiriwang. At alam po namin, naintindihan po namin na kayo po ay gumising ng maaga, galing sa malalayo, at ngayon po ay gutom na. Pakitanong ang katabi mo, gutom ka na.
ang isasagot po namin, wala kami papakain sa iyo. No? Kaya uwi na po kayo. <laughs> no, hindi po. Um, tayo po ay nagugutom siguro sa sikmura, pero tingin ko ay busog tayo dahil sa pag-ibig at presensya ng Panginoon. Can we give our Lord a hand? Um, alam po ninyo, na-trigger ako kahapon ni ano ni Father ano Henry. Sinaliksik ko talaga yung buhay ni San Isikel Moreno. And amazing this saint, this SB, this saint and bishop, amazing life, no? Sa Palawan nagkamalaria din po siya, no? Sa uh, ano po ito, uh, uh, again, additional homily. Nagkamalaria tapos ang daming mga persecution ng hinarap kung saan-saan siya napunta. Uh, he was threatened, pupugutan ng ulo, sasaksakin, papatayin. But he never, he never wavered in his faith. And his final battle was with cancer. Na sa unang tingin, hindi niya tinado. Kasi namatay siya ng cancer. Pero sa pangalawang pagtingin, hindi rin. Nanalo din siya kasi tayo ang nakikinawang sa kanyang pagpananalangin para sa atin. So, I'd like us to to develop this devotion to San Ezekiel. Tinitulungan din po natin ang mga Augustinian Recollects sa kanilang, sa kanilang mga proyekto. So, for those who would like to order online the image of San Ezekiel, meron naman po yan sa kanilang uh, website sa mga Augustinian Recollects. And we also have some some images in our office na pwede po ninyong uh, 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 bilhin kasi hindi po libre yun. Uh, ang libre po ay yung relic na bibigay natin sa inyo po this morning. So, for an orderly distribution of the relics, you will not uh, move anymore. Kami na po ang magbibigay uh, po sa inyo. Uh, so, don't, don't move sa inyo pong kinalalagyan. Okay lang po ba yan? Ang gumalaw ay... Huwag <laughs> namang ma-stroke, no? Uh, so, ang gumalaw ay... Yeah. So, sabi ni Father Jerry, BTS, believe, trust, and surrender. Ang sabi naman ni Father Jason, SB19, transform your suffering into blessing, your sickness into blessedness. Ngayon po, I'm still in the healing period of my life dahil sa pagkamatay ng magulang ko, pero I'm always overwhelmed. No? Uh, masakit, sa kalooban mo, pero pag nakikita mo yung mga pinaglilingkuran mo. Ngayon po, nakikita ko na ngayon ng nanay ko sa marami sa inyo, tatay ko. Kasi ang lahat na nagpupunta rito, eh, medyo Goryans na. <laughs> Kaya maraming salamat sa inyo po. Uh, you are all in our prayers. To our online parishioners, your prayers are always with us. So, is it okay that you stay where you are? And we'll go there to you. Lahat po kayo makakatanggap. Don't worry about it. Lahat po kayo makakatanggap. Na pasalamatan po natin ang ating mga servers, no? Ang ating mga volunteers na gumawa po nitong relic na ito. Third class relic. Again, a little, a little explanation. Ang third class relic po ay hindi agimat, hindi po ito anti-anting. Ito po ay isang article for prayer. Ilagay po ninyo ito sa inyong mga altar at gamitin po natin itong visual aid para sa ating panalangin na we are reminded of the presence of the saints that have touched these relics. Kaya again, thank you very much to everyone. And to the Augustinian Recollect Fathers, thank you for entrusting to us the first class relic of San Ezekiel Moreno. We all stand. Pakilagay ulit ang kamay ninyo sa balikat ng inyong katabi and let us pray for one another. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May God keep you always strong in your faith. May the Lord fortify you with unfailing hope. May the Lord increase your charity so that you may always persevere with all patience until death. Amen. That together with St. Ezekiel Moreno and all the saints, 
you may be able to possess the happiness of heaven where the church rejoices to see her children joining with the saints in everlasting peace. Amen. And may our loving God always bless you, protect you, keep you in his loving heart. May the Lord heal you and grant you strength, joy and peace in your life. May the Lord always provide for your needs. May the Lord always keep you in his love. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Let us glorify the Lord by our life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. As we distribute the relic, we would like to pray. We do it in the spirit of prayer. I'd like to pray again for you, for those of you who 